I'm going to jump into my backlog. Mm. Now, this is a backlog movie that has been on, uh, you know, it, it's been it's one of those ones that I heard talked about on another movie podcast. Mm. And then I continue to hear whispers about mm. it, about how good it is and how much of a sleeper hit it is. Mm. <sighs> and it was something. Um, I watched Michael Do- Doherty's. I don't know how to say his last name. I don't know how to pronounce it. Doberman. This, this common. Nope. Doherty's. Doherty's. A 2007 anthology movie, Trick or Treat. Mm. Okay. Uh, now, I had been hearing for the longest time how this is just like what should be the go-to Halloween movie. Okay. Was it? So I had so I had pretty high expectations. Right. And As many a backlog do. There's five... There's five stories that take place during this movie. Mm-hmm. All not they're, now they're not five stories that are like here's one, here's two, here's three. All of them are taking place, and they're you're kind of seeing pieces like go through one and into the other, and then you're seeing the first one pick back up during the fourth one. You know, okay, or not pick back up, but you're seeing those characters like cross paths. You know, which I was like interesting, and although some of those stories were interesting and fun to watch. I never really thought that it got to that level of this is a classic Halloween movie that I can't wait to revisit like next year, you know? Until we got to the last story. Mm. Who uh, oddly enough has fucking Brian Cox in it as like the main person. Oh. And I was like, what the hell is Brian Cox doing in here cuz I just ca- I just <laughs> finished watching Succession and I was like, what is happening right now? Uh and the last the last story is my favorite one by far. Like I think it's so good and there's really good scares in it. Like just like like really like in inju- in what's the word I'm looking for? Indubitably. <laughs> no no no. Uh and there's just like really <laughs> creative scares. Okay. That were really fun. And also this little pumpkin head dude is so fucking cute. I just want to pick him up and hold him forever. Like he's like the little main mascot thing that you always probably see. On like all the little, posters and like yeah. yeah, little sack head dude. He's adorable. He's fucking so cute. Oh pumpkin he's boy always... <laughs> He's my favorite. Uh I think it is a it's a fun movie. It's not as good as I thought it was gonna be or hoped it would be. Like there's like one or two stories that like totally don't work I think at all, and then the other like two like the other two work pretty well and then that last one works really well, so it's kind of like a mixed bag of works and doesn't work. I think we're getting a sequel to this one uh, next year actually, mm-hmm. so that'll be interesting to see if uh, Do- Doherty gets any better. He's also the same guy who directed uh, Godzilla, King of Monsters, mm. so you know. All right. There's that. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> the episode is dead. And now you'll be haunted forever if you don't do one of three spooky options. You can either watch more weekly mini episodes or clips from the monthly show. Those aren't boxes. They're coffins. And the uh, the circle. <clears throat> uh, the circle is a bat taking a nap. Click it and subscribe, I guess.